we created this APS as you remember this consisting of civil the APS name is building construction with civil baseline and civil project monitoring we had gone through all the process of creating enterprise project structure and creating a project now let's move ahead with creating a project like completely setting up a project program so we select our project please do recall before we go into the creation of the detailed project program we must check all the details of this like as we discussed in previous session most importantly we must check the projected plan start date and data date and finish date must finish date so once you have checked all the aspects and settings of the APS project like uh, default what is the default settings for new activities duration type fixed duration and units percent complete type is duration percent complete task dependent activity type is task dependent and this is the very critical setting you must check like if you select if you have pre-created calendar in your if you have created a calendar you can assign this calendar to the project so for our construction project of two-story villa we can work seven day so I select seven day work week calendar and it's been selected and assigned so let's open up our project program right click open project creating the new project now the first thing to do is assigning WBS to assign WBS for creating a project before you create a project please have a detailed breakdown of works and the sub works to make yourself thoroughly understand the sequences and structure of the program go to project in the menu bar and click WBS the WBS section has been opened and in the assigning toolbar here click add so the first will be the topmost and heading of the WBS that is yes two story villa revision zero keep on adding the WBS make sure that you know this move up down shift left, uh, left shift right in order to sequence the working structure of the program so the first thing we do before starting a construction project we go for pre-construction approvals that is the first WBS pre-construction approvals then second thing so this is this part is design and plan preparation construction now we are done with pre-construction approvals design and plan preparation construction approvals so we could start construction that is starting a substructure substructure meaning the foundation structures and ground level structure the next aspect is superstructure that is above ground level works superstructure
and the final is architectural and finishing works so these are the first level WBS breakdown now we have to go in for this is we have to go in for second level then third level in superstructure substructure sub foundation here the next is ground beam and slab remember under substructure both foundation works and ground beam and slab works are part of the substructure so it is indented inside the substructure like its group under the substructure works so you could notice you could hide it you could show all like or expand so collapse the tab to close to hide the substructure WBS and open the tab to uh, expand the tab to see the substructure WBS work so now you are familiar with this aspect like collapsing expanding similarly you add the superstructure the ground floor ground columns and roof column and roof you must make sure that you are indenting under indenting as per the work structure so you are not messing up like uh, collapsing or indenting or denting under some different thing you have to sequence it in an orderly fashion so substructure consists of ground column and roof first floor column and roof and various other details let's add second story remember this is a two-story villa project so uh, we have just added the first floor column and roof then please indent it to the left then second floor so we have so these details and the super superstructure this details such as foundation ground beam and slab and under substructure now architectural and finishing works i'll not take much time in going into the all these details i'll just add to wbs aspects like external finishing internal finishing now the first thing is we do internal finishing then we go for external finishing here we are done with adding a WBS structure okay this is also a customizable you can right click on this column tab go to here this bar right click go to columns you can choose dates when start when finish the start date is default which we had assigned during the creation of the EPS structure so let's go back to the activities the reason you are not seeing the WBS which you have created is it's because can you guess there is some problem that we have not fixed it yes you have created a detailed WBS and when you go to the activities I'm sorry my system is hanged a bit yeah when you go to the activities you are not seeing the WBS which you had created you must check the layout the layout which you have selected firstly deselect hide if empty then apply or else make sure this is not under different group like uh, suppose if it is under work productivity and documentation grouping 
then you cannot see and if it is id if empty also you cannot see it so make sure you select wbs and deselect id if empty apply click ok again once again go to your layout or group and sort by sorry this is a group and sort go to click here group and sort select a wbs deselect id if empty apply click ok yes so that wbs which you have created is visible here in the gan chart view so this is how we create wbs structure for a project and the next session we will be inserting activities duration and linking up the activities to a logical conclusion thank you